Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at City Builder 3D, which is a beautiful add-on for those who like high quality 3D models and also 3D models with high quality shaders. Now, City Builder 3D is made available by the folks at Light Architects and for those who like to grab this, link is going to be in the description where you can check it out. The beautiful thing is City Builder 3D actually ships out different set of packs and if you proceed to get a full version to every pack that has been released, you will be able to get that update right here. So we've already talked about the fact that they had the Metropolitans, the Cyber Future, the Derelict, Soviet, Industrial and right now they have Hong Kong. So just in case you want to get this, there's a 25% off and you can use the discount code CGI. So with that said, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at what the Hong Kong scenes look like. So once you've purchased the add-on, what you need to do is to go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. It is with a brand new scene here, if you press N on the keyboard, you would notice that we have the city builder right here. So we've just installed only the Hong Kong pack because city builder is quite heavy. And uh, to get things happening, you can take a look at it and notice that the city builder comes with different kinds of buildings. So if you're looking for small buildings, medium sized buildings, large buildings, they all come in sets of five. So you can select from this. It's quite advisable that you take a look at these things individually because they're quite heavy. So getting started, we're just going to go ahead and get a Hong Kong small number four and see what it looks like within the viewport and we can see it. So once we have this here, we can also take a look at what number three looks like. So let's see what number three looks like. Doesn't look bad at all. And maybe we can just add one more here. Let's say we want to see what number five looks like. And that looks really, really cool. And uh, we can simply just position this like so. Let's preview what this looks like with EV. So if you simply fire up EV, you'd notice that the shading time is going to take a while because this thing has amazing shading. And uh, this is one of those things that you want. You want something that is higher quality. And in terms of shading, you also need something that the shading looks extremely, extremely good. So with the shading down right here, you can see what we have. So let's just bring that light down to this part, bring it right over there. And let's make a copy of that. Take it all the way to the back, zoom right in, and you can see these textures in all their glory. Take a look at these things with cycles. And with cycles here, you can see that we have some awesome looking stuff. So you can see these ones right here. You know, you can simply go around it, preview it, see what it looks like. And if you like to get something more, we can click, you know, make sure that we have that right there and we can add number two, or maybe we can actually go in and add something more. So let's say we'd like to get the Hong Kong medium number eight. Let's see what that looks like. And with this, you can see this right here. So let's actually go in and add one more right here. And then we can add the large one and see what this looks like. You know, you can play with the lighting and also get some very good results out of it. I'm just going to go ahead and move this light. Actually, let's make a copy and move this copy over to this point and you can see it. So you can tell from the textures, let's zoom all the way in. So you can tell from the textures that they look extremely good. So you can see that right there. Let's go all the way up here and see what we have nice stuff okay so if you're into you know 3d buildings and you're looking for some high quality 3d buildings with good texture and probably you're looking for something that you would be able to work with then this add-on is right here for you link to this is going to be in the description so that you can do well to check it out and that's more like it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll like see you guys again with a tutorial update. Free Friday, Tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.